Hi, this is Made by Mommy, and today I'm going to teach you how to make this lion pencil hugger charm using the rainbow loom and four colors of rubber bands. You'll need 34 rubber bands in the color of the lion's mane, 52 in the color for the body, 19 for the color of the face, and two for the color of the eyes. And you'll need to add an additional two rubber bands if you want your lion to have a cute little tail like this. And for those of you who want to make cats, you'll just be leaving off the 32 of those main colored bands. You'll still need the two in the middle for the nose. And let's get started. With your loom set up in the staggered or offset position, you're going to take two rubber bands in the color you want the body to be. But before you place these on the loom, we're gonna get the main rubber bands put on it as well. So I'm going to take four in the color that I want the main to be. And I'm going to pinch those body ones into the center so that it's like that. And then I'm just going to place that in the center row where that arrow is, like that. And I'm going to do that again with two of the body color and four of the main color. On the next two pegs. Now I'm going to switch to the color that I want the nose to be. And I'm going to use the same color I'm using for the mane. You may want to do something different. Then take two, the same way you were before, with four loose on those two bands. The one thing that I noticed from my trials is that you don't want your nose to be the same color as the eyes. I tried to do them all black and they kind of blended together. So you can pick whatever color you want. I just suggest that it not be exactly the same for the nose and eyes. So now switching to the color that you want the lower part of the face to be. For me, that's a yellow. And I'm gonna slide those four bands on and right into the next position. So it looks like that. And uh, in case you're wondering, this color that I'm using for the mane is Rainbow Loom brand caramel. And the top of the head and body is Rainbow Loom brand neon orange. So coming back to do the other sides of the head, we want two more in the body color with four bands for the main. And we're going to string those the same way, just like that, and put that on the outside row. And two of the lower face color with four for the main again. And stretch it. Like that. And then we're going to repeat that on the other side. Getting four bands for the main together, two that are the color of the body. Skipping the first peg and placing it in the second and doing one more with the main four bands two bands for the lower face put those through right there 
And now all of your mane is in place and the main portion of the face is complete. We just need to add two more of the lighter color for the bottom of the face from the side to the center. And we're going to do that on the other side as well from the side to the center. And then we can put two bands for the neck. So switching to the body color. And now this is the same structure as all of the rest of my huggers. So we're going to do shoulders. And on the other side, the same. And then going the center two. Two bands at a time for the next position as well. And doing that for the two sides, two at a time. And again. Two more. And before we complete the extensions for the hugger, we want to complete the bottom of the body. So taking two bands from the center to that bottom corner and repeating on the other side, two bands from the center to the corner. And now we can do the extension down to the end. And you'll see I switch colors in the middle. I think it looks really cute. Uh, so where the lion's paws would be, you have a little bit of a change of color. If you don't like that and you want them all to be the same, go ahead. It's obviously just a artistic choice, not a structural rule. So I'm going to go down twice with my darker body color and then switch to two of the lighter color that I used for the face and then switching back to my darker color to represent the other leg as it comes up and two more and uh, those of you who are using other brand looms up to you whether or not you want to continue for the extra peg this is enough you could stop here or you can go on if you want to fit your hugger around something that is thicker. So now we're going to just repeat that side here. So that's two of the darker body color, then two of the lighter color you used at the bottom of the face and switching back to the body color. And we're going to add a single band to each of these bottom pegs and we're just going to wrap it around twice. So that's one twist and fold over and again in this position twist and fold over just like that. And we need to add one across the body here. One, two, three pegs around so it forms a triangle. And we're going to do that on the face as well, but first we want to add the bands for the eyes. Right where you have the transition of color in the middle of the face, we're going to wrap around the color that you want for the eyes. And I'm using Rainbow Loom brand black, and that wraps neatly for me four times. You want it to be somewhat tight, um, but different brands of bands work differently. So I'm doing four, you may do three, you may do five. It's, it depends what you're working with. We all have slightly different materials to use. But use your judgment until it looks like it's on pretty tight, but not so tight that you won't be able to move it. So once you have your two eye bands in place, we're going to place a triangle band 
across there and you'll want to match the color that you used for the lower portion of the face and then to get the eyes where they need to be just going to take our hook and pull them over the peg and we'll do that on this side too There we go. And we need to set up the bands for the ears. And for the ears, I take one of each of the colors I used on the face and body, place it here. And then I prefer to use the lighter color for the tip of the ear. So that goes around this peg three times or four if you can, depending on the type of bands you're using. And then again, one of each color. And wrap around three or four times, depending on your rubber bands. Okay. And now we have all the rubber bands we're going to be using except for the tail, which we do at the very, very end. Let's get this chart out of the way. And get ready to use your hook. Starting at the bottom here, we're going to get our ears put in the right place. So putting your hook in, catching those two bands. And then the other one and putting your hook in placing your thumb so they don't go flying away and then it goes up here and the other one that one off and bringing it up here there you go and back down to the bottom I'm gonna start at the feet keeping your thumb over that cap band so it doesn't come popping off like mine just did <laughs> I bet you guys could all do this better than me. Silly, silly made by mommy. Look what I did. I let one go. So you see what I'm going to do? I'm just going to catch it now and bring it around. And now they're both on there. Ta-da! And continuing up to where this leg, or legs actually, meet the body. And we'll do that on the other side too. And we're going to, because we want our lion to face the side like this, instead of the front, like my original pencil huggers. We're going to take our hook in here and pull this one up and place it right here for later. And this one, we're going to just hook this center one like that. And then we can take this chain off. We're 
we're going to swing it around here and place over that peg right there. Then we can come in here and bring that to the center to lock it into place. Coming in here and bringing this one forward and stop there because we're going to want to swing this one around before we hook on that peg. So coming into the left side then the center So now we're going to take this extension after we've hooked the center ones. We're going to twist it around the body like that and put that doubled over band around this peg just like that. And now we're ready to catch this one. which will help hold that in place. Then the one underneath to the center and from this side to the center and the body is all secure now. Way to go! And now we can do the neck This one, there's a lot of bands, so you want to make sure you walk it around each side of the peg, not just pull on it too hard. And then it snaps, then you get mad at me. Let's see, and now we can go here. You want to get the two that are on top. And if you only catch one, that's okay. Just go back and catch the next one. And then the next two, or since there's so many, doing one at a time, not a bad idea. So I'm just going to take one at a time. And then the last two, these I can see without a problem, so I'll take both. And that is the bottom of our face. And we can go all the way up the middle now. Just. Uh, making sure we're not catching any of those main bands, taking the two that are connected to the peg. There. And here. And there too. And the sides of the face. And here, once you've brought that loop up, you just want to tug on the ear and bring it around the peg and down. And then you can adjust it if you prefer one color on the inside or the outside. And then we'll do the same on the other side of the face. And again, bring the ear up and over that peg and adjust which band is in or out if you have a preference. I like the lighter color on the inside, but most importantly, I just want them to be the same on both sides. So there, now they're the same. And we are ready to take this off of the loom. We're going to be looping 
these and these and these onto our hook and connecting them together. We want the center of the face to be a little bit longer so that it can stick out forward a bit. So getting our hook ready, I'm going to reach in to get those four bands onto your hook and the next four from that peg and then very carefully the next four from this peg and keep your thumb you don't want to lose those and then tug up and before we get the whole body off we want to secure these bands Take one in the same color as the top of the head, which is your main body color. Put it on your hook like that. And then just two bands at a time, bring that hook through each of these. Do this slowly because you don't want to lose any of these. Once you have it peeking out the other side, you can put both sides of that band on your hook. And now we're going to pull this side of the band into the center of that side. I do that just by rotating my hook and pulling through. And you'll see then it creates a knot. And now, keeping an eye on this strand just while we're playing with the rest of this. We want to pop the rest of this off the loom. Use your hook to help you out rather than risking breaking your poor little lion's neck. Because there are a lot of bands on that one peg. And once you have the neck off, you can pull the center of the body. So now our line is almost there. The first thing you want to do is Take this loop that you had at the top of the lion's head and let's make it disappear. To do that, bring your hook into the top of the head underneath the matching bands and pull that loop down and tuck it in. Then the next thing you want to do is get all of these main bands pulled to the back of the head. So anything you see like that, you know you can tug because we don't want those sticking out in the front of the face. Then take your thumb to the center of the face and just pop it forward and grab the nose and give it a little bit of a pull to pull that center strand. You'll see I have one of these main bands again popping out, so I'm just going to come to the back to find that one. Now we need to construct the lion's tail. You'll need one in the color of the body and one band in the color of the mane. And we're going to wrap that around at least three times, four if you can. And then we're going to take it like that and take the other band off. We're going to create a slip knot by pulling this side into that side. Just like that. Then you can take your little tail off the loom. Place the hook right where you want the tail to connect. Catch that loop. Bring it through the lion. And then we're just going to stretch this out and put it around the tail itself to create another knot to secure that. And now your lion has a tail. I hope you enjoyed making this lion with me today. If you did, Please give this video a big thumbs up below and subscribe if you haven't already. We'd love to have you back for another project. 
Please write in the comments below how many of my pencil huggers you've made and what you would like to see me make next. Thanks again for watching and happy looming!